You know, I told him for British politics, so it would be, you know, explanations of who won or who lost a general election and why they won or lost it. And, you know, you'd have the statistical evidence and the data and all the pollster evidence and what the historians had said about something. But if she got an idea in her head, which was strong, she would just stick at it, irrespective of the fact that you might have like 24 or five sources of authority that you could throw back at her. And it's so interesting what you say. We had on the podcast last week, Sir Gus O'Donnell, the former cabinet secretary, and he was saying, Look, when Liz Truss becomes Prime Minister, she's going to face a civil service who are going to want her to make evidence-based decisions. And that, of course, she'll understand that when she sees the weight of that evidence, she will fall into line and think accordingly. What you've just said is the absolute opposite of that. Yeah, look, I'm not saying that she doesn't care about evidence in any circumstance. And clearly, they'll, uh, you know, as Gus O'Donnell says, there'll be very clever people presenting her with piles and piles of evidence about things that she's never thought about. And we don't yet know how she'll respond. What I do know, though, is that she loves, uh, you know, sort of being the person in the room who, you know, sort of doesn't do what convention or expectation says that she ought to do. And if she's got a strong view or she's got someone else in her ear, you know, an advisor or a guru to which she turns, that she believes a little bit more than the established authorities, I imagine you could have a prime minister who goes with her gut. The News Agents. This is a Global Player original podcast. 